Good evening, YouTubers, and welcome to the Ultimate Toy Auction on Monday night tonight. And we're here at NASCAR Man 3345, and we have tons of toys for you. I hope everybody can come in and enjoy this because we have a lot of stuff to Five, sell. We have tons of toys for you. I hope everybody can come in That's and enjoy this because... Because we have a lot. Are you kidding me? That's a rookie move there. <laughs> I even remembered to mute. <laughs> me too. Ah, I'm, ah, I can't believe it. I just did that. Wow, that was a rookie move, guys. Man, we're supposed to have this ultimate. Hey, man. So, we want to welcome everybody here. We have Miss Rebecca Crudo. Hello, everybody. And we have Miss... Kimmy from Borderline Horderish. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kimmy. My channel's Borderline Horderish. Hello, all. So what we are going to do today, everyone, um, I know we have 12 people already in the chat. This is going to be a great. This, I want to decide to say hi to everybody. We have Boondock by Sal, Mr. Cliff. We have Fishing for Profits, Mr. Ricardo. Um, Crack Picker, Lisa C., Miss Rebecca. We got the Pomi Pickers from down in Australia. We got Misha Renee. She came back. Miss Jennifer Hayes. Well, we're going to get a couple. Want to wait to get a couple other people in? Real good kids. Real good kid. Is then flipping crazy. Man, we got everybody. Hopefully, everybody can come on in. Uh, we'll start in about five minutes with uh, I want to do some of the rules. Um, I know everybody's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We got Debbie's here. Uh, banana finds, yay! You know where you are. You are a banana, and you found some of us. <laughs> so, um, so I'm glad everybody is here. Um, we have multiple items. I know Kimmy's got some. Rebecca has some, and, and I have enough. Let's just <laughs> let's just say, you know, this is my forte, uh, Miss Kimmy's forte, also. And Rebecca, when she finds toys, she's always looking out and always asking questions. So she is ready for this and ready to rock and roll. Um, I need everybody that is in the chat. I need you all um, go to going to live chat, not top chat, live chat. When I state sold, it is on my screen. Whatever I say on my screen, um, that will be the final and will be sold. You have uh, 24 hours to sh um, to get in touch with us. And if you are not um, registered with us, please let us know. Uh, you can uh, email us. I know um, we'll put the information into the chat of all the emails. Hey, Mr. Adam, thank you for coming in. Just in time to stop all the wonderful uh, links for us. Um, but guys, uh, if nobody, if you haven't subscribed to anybody here, uh, Adam is at, what, 9.15, I think, right now for some subs. He's trying to get to 1,000. Please, let's help him out. And I'm at 7.87. So do you would like to open a line of credit um, while your PayPal short? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Um, so if you, we're gonna if, you're gonna, if you're gonna pay us, Jason, are you gonna pay us in bananas? <laughs> we don't take bananas, sir. All I can think of, and I see when he see, when I see that name is bananas in pajamas. Remember that show? <laughs> it's uh, it bananas a bananas in pajamas <laughs> are going down the stairs or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So okay, guys. So here's the rules. I'm going to start start the auction. You will see the item. If it's Kimmy or Rebecca selling it, she will be uh, stating her starting price and her shipping. I do have some reserves on some of my items. Um, I don't know if Kimmy and Rebecca do. They can let you know when, it, when the item comes up. Hey, what's up, Dwayne? Thank you for stopping in. Um, this, is, this is going to be a great show. We have a ton of items. Um, final said sold is what I what I stated on the on my screen. 
Everybody, please be on live chat. And let's have a lot of fun. This is gonna be this is gonna be a great night. If you guys like toys, this is the place to be. Um, like I said, you have 24 hours to pay. Um, if you do have a problem with that, you can uh, let one of us know if you have a problem. Um, we will be getting the items out as quick as possible. Um, I know with you know everybody has little things with myself that sometimes it takes a little bit of time. That's nice. Good, good job. I like those the bare wood. Excellent, excellent job. Um, so okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start it off. Um, I wasn't here last week, so we're gonna start with Miss Rebecca. He's gonna do the first item, guys. So um, thank you for all coming in. And Miss Rebecca, we're gonna highlight you. And if I may, if you have an outstanding balance with me, I will not accept your bids tonight. Is that all right? That's your call. That is okay. your. You are, you are the. You are the. Uh, the seller at tonight. So that is the rule. Okay. okay. Well, this is my first item. I'll. I'll let Derek explain who he is. Okay. Um, if everybody remembers the TV show. Uh, Big comfy couch. This is her doll that she had on the couch. They used to talk with her. This is from mid nineties. Um, he's a great little piece. That's how you, you recognize him from the nose, on his pink nose. And uh, so, it's really cute piece, guys. If you're interested, if you have little kids and you really like them, um, there you go. So, what are you going to start it out at? I'm going to start him at $4, and shipping will be probably about $6. So we're going to start that out at $4, guys, $4. So who's going to give me $4 for a wonderful big comfy couch doll? <laughs> All right, guys, $4. We're going to need a, we need a bit of $4 for the big comfy couch doll. $4, guys. Come on, who's going to give me $4? Great little bid there, guys. $4. I got Misha Renee at 4 I got 4 I got 4 Who'll give me 5 I got $4. Who'll give me 5 $4. Who'll give me 5 I've got $4 from Misha Renee. Who'll give me 5 I got $4. Who'll give me 5 Come on, guys. It's a great little piece. I know when he was around, I know and he went for like $25, $30. And he does that. Snap. His snap is still snapped and in good condition. Yeah, he's in great shape, guys. So I got four dollars. Any anybody that liked the old the show, this was a great show for kids. Anybody who doesn't remember it, you can buy this and you can show your kids because I know they have them on on YouTube and I think on Hulu they have the big comfy couch still on. So um, I got Misha Renee at four dollars, guys. I got Misha Renee at four dollars for this great little item. <laughs> We got four dollars, guys. We got four dollars. I'm looking for five. Four. I'm looking for five. I got four. I'm looking for five, guys. Four. I'm looking for five. I got four dollars. I'm looking for five. I got four dollars. Looking for five. I got four dollars once. Going once. I got four dollars to Manisha, Misha, Renee going at once. I got four dollars, guys. I got four looking for five. I got four looking for five. I got four dollars looking for five, guys. Four dollars looking for five going twice. <laughs> I got four dollars <laughs> looking for five. I'm trying to figure out what the uh, what the lag is. It looks like the lag is probably 15, 20 seconds, guys. So we're going to keep an eye on it because, yeah, because now you are just actually waving his hand right now. So we're about 15, 20 seconds behind. So I got, I got $4, guys. I got $4 for this wonderful, cute little figure from Big Comfy Couch. I got $4 going once. I got four dollars going twice. Sold for four dollars to Misha Renee. Thank you, Misha. Good job, guys. Good job. 
That's how we do it in here. This is how easy this is. You guys know if you need Misha's information, I already have it. So Yeah, so do I. Okay. Beautiful. Miss Kimmy the is in the house today. <laughs> Miss Kimmy, what do you have available for us right now? Um, what should I do first? Let's see. I really should have can you see, can you hear the rain? Now that I have my headphones on or my earbuds in? No. no? Okay. It's like so strangely, unusually humid here. I'm not used to it. And I have to have some kind of airflow going on here. Or I'll melt, people. I will melt. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to do. I'll just keep y'all in suspense. Just kidding. Uh, I'm going to do these first. So these are going to be seven fifty for shipping, and I'll show you them here in one second. I'm a little unorganized tonight. My apologies. Um, all right, and I'm going to start them. Actually, I'll start them at five. Now they do roll. They are a pair of very vintage skates. They do roll still. They need a little TLC. They could use some new straps. They do adjust on the bottom with the wing. It has a wing nut on the bottom. Um, one of them is a little hard to adjust. I know the other one adjusts just fine. But like I said, they both still roll. This this one does have the um, you know straps still to it. You could tell just looking at it how old that leather um, is. And the buckle still is there on this one. I'm not sure if you could find the exact replacements, but it doesn't seem like it would be too complicated. I think they're cool just even to add to a collection. Yes, that is a neon Yukon behind Kimberly, guys. <laughs> yep. So, Mama still has hers. Yeah. Uh, so. Okay, guys, we are starting this at five dollars. Here we got five dollars for these vintage chip, vintage roller skates. We have five dollars. There's gonna be a five dollars for the vintage roller skates. They're, I'm pretty Tipping. sure they're youth, youth kids to youth size. I mean, my yeah. foot probably fit in it, but I wear a five or a six. So All right, so probably a probably a size two to a size seven. Yeah, they adjust. Like I said, yeah. I'm not sure how far out. I guess it would be almost. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, Dwayne. Mama's was made of stone like the Flintstones. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. All right, so let's see. Uh, we have, let's get $5 bid, guys. $5, $5, $5. We need $5. <laughs> you got $5, guys. Let's get a bit of $5 for these wonderful Vintage skates. These are actually vintage skates, guys. These are pretty cool. I remember using these when I was a kid. Yeah, and they are you pretty cool. You didn't really go that far. This is this is uh, how, when I see the ones these. I had when I was a kid I, were plastic. They were they were plastic. Yeah, they used, um, the, they used the strap, the Velcro straps, and everything on them. Right. And so, if I, if if you want to laugh, see these skates were like. Um, these skates that uh, those are the wheels that like Matchbox used to use back in the day when they were Lesney. So they didn't they didn't roll well. You had to use you had to use your legs to push and pull yourself around. Mm -hmm. Even though you had wheels on them, you still had to move around. So come on, guys, I'm looking for five dollar bid, guys. A five dollar bid. Hey, Jason Static, thank you for coming in. I got I need a five dollar bid on these on these roller skates, guys. A five dollar bid. So, please, guys, also, if you guys are interested in this stuff, we have tons of vintage toys. Please um, please share to everybody and have them come in because uh, we got some amazing stuff coming up, and it's going to be so much fun, guys. So I need a $5 bid, guys, on this $5 bid. For yeah, these we can pass if there's no interest. But, I mean, that's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah. So if I have a $5 bid, guys. We need a five dollar bid on this. If not, we're gonna pass on this and we're gonna move on. So if anybody's interested, a five dollar bid, guys. I know how you hey, what's up, Alex? Thank you for stopping in. So here we go. Uh so we're gonna pass on these guys. I know we have a 25 second delay. We'll pass on these, we'll bring them back 
back in the end if anybody's in, interested in any of it. So, all right, guys. All right, my first item. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. All right. I got so much stuff here to start. Um, we're going to start it off right here. Um, start it off with an vintage piece. From 1993. This is Capsilla. This is uh, 350 pieces. This is exactly how you make stuff. You used to be able to float in water. It's eight items, never been used. Still in the box, great condition. It's going to be $8 shipping, guys, and we're going to start this off at $5. So we're going to start this off at $5. It still has all, everything in it, even has the. Uh, the wonderful How It Works complete science booklet inside. I mean, I just look at it, still taped. Open on this side just to see what was, make sure that it was all there. You know, still haven't even, look at it, still sealed and everything. So, anybody interested in this? We're starting this at $5, guys. Capsilla shipping will be $8, guys. So, we got $5. So if anybody's interested in this, we got Capsilla from 1993. Great little piece, guys. Signing a bit at five dollars. So if anybody is interested, please uh, start the, signing the bid. I need five dollars, guys. Start this bid off, guys. Five dollars. We start all up most of our items off at five dollars, guys. Four or five dollars. So if anybody is interested, please start off the bid at five dollars. I got five dollars, guys. Come on, uh, need five dollar bid. So okay, we got five. No five dollars, guys. If not, we're gonna pass on it. So I got. Come on, I need a five dollar bid. If anybody's interested, guys, please. I got five dollar bid. We got any five dollar bids for this capsula? You look it up. It's a thirty-five, forty dollar piece. Great for resale. We're starting this off at five dollars, guys. We're starting this off at five five dollars, guys. Come on. I know we got a twenty second delay, so please five dollar bid. Five dollar bid, guys. If not, we're gonna pass on it. All right, we're gonna pass on this one, guys. We'll just put it up at the end if you if you're interested. Oh, I got banana finds at five dollars. All right, we got banana finds at five. I got five who get six. Five who take six. I got five dollars from banana finds who take six. Five who take six. I got five dollars who get who get six. I got five dollars who take six. Five dollars I get six. Five dollars. I got banana finds at five dollars, guys. I got banana finds at five dollars. Who wants six? Five dollars who get six. We got five who'll take six. What does this do? It's a lot of products where you can make it, it has all motors, you can put batteries in it, and you can make floats, you can make submarines, things do everything. This is a great product from the early it started in the late eighties. Um, I used to have the, the six hundred piece set and had a ton of fun with this. So uh, I got five dollars from banana finds. I got five dollars. Who'll give me six? Five. Who'll give me six? I got five dollars going once, guys. I got five dollars going once. Five dollars going once. Five dollars once. Five dollars going twice, guys. I got five going twice. Five dollars going twice. I got sold to Banana Fines for five dollars. Good job. Five dollars sold. Yeah, exactly, Joe. All right, great, guys. All right, next up is Miss Rebecca with her next item. Shipping will be $6. I'm going to start it at 5 It's a little horse pulling a red thing with a string. I don't know anything about it, so Derek, if you do... <laughs> This this is an old um, an old Fisher Price toy um, that came out in the mid eighties seventy late seventies early eighties 
um, when you spin those wheels, it should make a bell sound, if, if I remember right. If it's back there, they're not doing anything. It's back there, but it doesn't make a noise. All right. It's just a little off. Might be missing the bell inside. Um, guys, it's a great little product. Um, a lot of people redo them. Uh, for $6, guys, we're starting this off at $6. If anybody's interested, has a, a new baby coming up, you can really uh, have them have fun. So, see, banana finds it. Yep. So, guys, I get six. Who's going to give me six dollars? We're going to start this off at six dollars, guys. Who's interested in six for six dollars? The great little horse and plastic. It's all plastic, but it's an older plastic. It's in really good shape, you know, considering how old this is. I remember, I remember having something similar to that when I was a kid. So, exactly. It's, <laughs> so I got five. I got, I got six dollars, guys. Uh, come on, we're going to start this off. Six dollar bid, guys. It's a great little piece. So, yes, exactly, Misha. It is a great little good call piece. Yep, you can put it up on a shelf if you needed to in a baby's room. Um, so, <laughs> so six dollars, guys. Who's gonna give me six dollars? So six dollars, guys. It's a great little piece. It's a horse with the little bell and the. Uh, Part of a wagon, so come on, guys. Who's gonna give me six dollars for this? I know we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit because I know we have the the delay the, the, the lag, but uh, just give me six dollars, guys. Who's gonna give me six dollars for this for this, please? Come on, guys. Six dollars. We have thirty five people in the chat. Let's see if we please got everyone. If you can please uh, share this to everybody that you know. Uh, we've shared it all week with a lot of people. Um, we're hoping that more people will come in. I know it takes a few seconds, few minutes for uh, all the notifications to go out, but so we got six dollars, guys. Just get a six dollar bid. Six dollar bid. We're gonna go another another minute or so, and if we don't get a bid, we'll pass it on until the end, guys. Who's gonna give me six dollar bid for the for the horse? Six dollar bid, guys. So six dollar bid. All right, we'll pass on this, guys, until we go on until the end again. All right, we'll wait. We'll hold on until the end on that. Miss Kimmy, you're up. <laughs> um. All right. I'm going to do. This is, I'm doing as a bundle. It is a board game, 1975 board game called Rip Off. I will show you the parts and pieces here momentarily. Um, I'll start this little bundle at five and shipping will be seven flat. Um, and I'm gonna include, now this thing cracked me up, seriously. So it's, it's a funny ha ha gag gift kind of thing. Um, it is from 1979, says 731, 79 on it. One side is obviously in, uh, in Italian. Uh, here is what it is on the other side. It says uh, mustache print carnival party made in Italy. Unused, folks. So if you want to have a mustache for a day, then this is a game you need to buy. <laughs> All right, guys. We're starting this off. Five dollar bid for both. For both. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Maybe we can have some fun with it. Somebody will buy it, and we can do a video with somebody. <laughs> somebody can right? like I, have buy this, so we can have them put it on a, on during the during the show. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, sold quite actually quite a few vintage sort of funny um, gag gifts or you know humorous things. The last one was. Um, it was a mustache, but it was on a pacifier, um, but it was vint like old one. It was vintage. That was pretty funny. So, yeah, these together, I'll show you the part. Hey guys, the dice are cool. I really like, the reason I love old games is for the dice. And these ones are wood. They're like green and, I don't know, gold painted. I, I don't even think this game has really honestly been played, but... 
even the cards, you know how you play with games and they get kind of that brown tinge around. I mean, they look like they, I mean, it might have been played once, but it's in great condition considering the year. See, Lynn says she loves dice. I, yeah, I really, really like dice. And if the game is missing too many parts, I will jack the dice out of it and I'll keep the dice. There are some vintage dice, older dice that are worth money. I'm all into board games. We do, we do game night almost every Friday. So guys, game guys. Who's gonna give us a five starting five dollar bid? Look, Look at the money. That's dollar bills, y'all. Dollar dollar bid, y'all. Even still has their ever band. I won't even put it around there. Let's see. Dollar dollar bills, Come on. It's a great little great click game, and you get the mustache to go with it. Maybe <laughs> get the mustache to play the game. Mustaches. So who's gonna give us a five dollar bid, guys? Let's start this off at five dollars. Who's gonna give us five dollars, guys? Come on, five dollar bid. Who's gonna give us a five dollar bid to start this off? I'm gonna show uh, Turtle Trader my turtle here. <laughs> he wants to know about my turtle. Well, I can't really lift it too close, but because it's on a, um, it's plugged in. Come on, guys. Five dollar bid. Uh, five dollar bid, guys. We're gonna start us off at five dollars. Come on, it's a great, great game, you know. Fire. You know, we have a lot of stuff coming up, but yeah, the other games, I, do have a, I do have another bundle of games coming, and those ones I think are the coolest ones. So who's gonna give us a five dollar bid, guys? Five dollar bid. Five dollar bid, guys. What's five dollar bid? Five dollar bid. Five dollar bid. Five dollar bid, guys. Who's gonna give us five dollar bid? Who's gonna give us five? Alex wants to know. Alex, we haven't started anything yet. Yeah. So. We're just we're just beginning here. Yeah, we're just starting, guys. So we can we can pass on this if there's no interest. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna pass on this, guys. All right, we're gonna start off with something new, guys. All right, it's okay. All right, guys, we're gonna start off now. Seems like you guys are like wondering what we're gonna sell. So I'm gonna start it off. Um, this is a parts only. G.I. Uh, Cobra from G.I. Joe, 1986. Uh, Cobra Rattler. Needs parts, but the shell is in great shape. We have some extra pieces here that go with it. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to start this off at $10, guys. This is a $10, and shipping will be $8, guys. So we're going to start this at $10, guys. G.I. Joe, original G.I. Joe from 1986. So if anybody is interested, we're going to do original G.I. Joes from 1986. The Cobra Rattler for parts. Great little piece. So we're going to start it off at $10. Who's going to give me $10, guys? $10, guys. $10. Great little piece. So we got $10, guys. Who's going to start us off at $10 for a Cobra Rattler? Parts are easy to get, guys. You guys can definitely find parts for this, or if you have some already, and uh, you need you need some extra pieces or a better wing or an engine. This is great, guys. Starting off at ten dollars. Who's gonna give me ten dollars for the original GI Joe Cobra Rattler? So, anybody interested for a Cobra Rattler, nineteen eighty six? This is what we we're talking about vintage toys, guys. And we even got some older stuff, but. You know, guys, this is what the, this is what this auction is. It's all going to be toys. So, if anybody's interested, please, and make sure you're on live chat, guys, not on um, top chat. Get bids. So, 
Starting us off at ten dollars, guys. Who's interested? Ten dollars. So you want me to pass on this? All right, well, guys, you gotta, you know, we got a lot of stuff here. Um, you know, this is well, this is we're passing on twenty million items, guys. You know, um, but all right, we'll move on now, guys. Fine, Rebecca, you're up. Shipping on this item is going to be $20. If I can find it cheaper, I will. It is a metal semi and trailer. This is the semi. And this is the trailer. I want the bidding to start at 15. It's got like a drawer here. For all the, that's where all the wheels and the um, the tool to toolbox went to. Um, that is actually from 1983, guys. Um, that was in the um, Sears Wish Book in 1983. It, it usually came with a um, NASCAR, a plastic NASCAR that came with it. Um, but with, this is just a trailer and truck. Um, start, she's starting it at 15, guys. If you're interested, please give us a bid. It's $15, guys. Starting at $15, guys. 15 Starting at 15 15 guys. Who's going to give us a bid for 15 Starting at 15 guys. Who's going to give us a bid for $15? Know a lot of guys out there. I know they take these and redo them. Who's gonna give us fifteen? <laughs> yeah, I, I, we a lot of us did. Cliff, a lot of us did. Um, but guys, fifteen dollars. When it's shipping, how much is the shipping, Kimmy? Uh that's uh, Rebecca. Twenty dollars, but if I can find it cheaper, I will. It's uh twenty dollars uh, because it's so heavy. Yeah, thank you, Adam. Uh, so, so starting at fifteen, guys, fifteen dollars for this. I know people come and they grab these. I mean, and they re redo them and customize them. Uh, it's a great piece. This is an '80s piece. Um, if anybody is interested, we're starting it off at fifteen dollars. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Misha. Yes, uh, it has to be Franken boxed, um, so we gotta just be able to do that. So, if it's cheaper and chi with the shipping, then she'll be able to do that. But right now, so <laughs> that's all right, Kimmy. You go, you go. We'll we'll pass on you if you and if you need if you need us, we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, guys, so let's fit fifteen dollars, guys. Fifteen dollars. If we're gonna, do, if we're not, we're gonna pass on it until the end, guys. Fifteen dollars. Starting at fifteen dollars, guys. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Anything? Okay. All right, we're gonna pass on this, guys, and move on. Miss um, Kimmy, are you ready? Or you want to wait? We can wait if you. Is it if to me already? Need. We're we're like yeah. flying through this. Um, a lot of things are getting passed tonight, so yeah, it's just, we're just getting the party started. No, oh, I hear you. Yeah, so I know that notifications have been a little odd today, so I wonder if that's part of the issue. But literally, there was somebody that when they first went live, I didn't get their notification at all. But the second time they went live. Like yeah. hours later, I got their notification in five seconds. So I don't know. I think YouTube's drunk again. They'd be hitting the bottle far too early. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, I apologize that I'm like up and down. You know, mom life calls. Yeah, we understand. It's that's just life. I mean, that's we yeah, gotta do it. Lily, um, um, uh, my my daughter is with her dad. So all right, so let's see what you got time. Um. Well, I could do. A plush or some of these? Should I do my my Shirley Temple dolls? Anybody interested in this? Whatever, whatever you, whatever you I'll think. Leave. I'll try this little cute guy. 
since Opus. Opus. That's Opus from the far side. Yeah, so he I'm gonna do him at three fifty for shipping and we'll start him off at five. He's so cute. He does have his little tushy tag. He is marked 1985 Washington Post, which I think is really cool. I mean, you could tell just by the tag. I mean, if you've looked at yeah. something long enough, I mean, it's, you kind of get the idea you and know, know when something's sort of vintage. Same thing applies to clothes. You know, you look at enough tags and stuff like that. He's very cute. Yeah. I love his little red bow tie. He's so cute. guys, who's gonna who got, who's gonna give start us off with the bid, guys? Who's gonna give I'm us a bid? <laughs> there we go. Who's gonna give us a cute bid on Opus, guys? We got Opus. Anyone? Anyone interested? In, he was cool. I remember watching him and doing watching. Uh, yeah, Sunday. he is, he he's one year younger than I am. I thought earlier that he was 1984, but then I looked and it was really 1985. But my birthday is in one week. Woohoo! So, all right, guys, who's gonna give us a bid on? Who's gonna give us a bid on him? And a bid of five dollars, guys. Who's gonna give us five dollars, guys? Who's gonna give us five dollars, guys? I shall count. I love his love. Bloom, Bloom, Bloom Country. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Flipping Crazy. Bloom Country. Yeah. He's cute. I got Turtle Trader at $5. I got $5 here. Yeah, who'll give me six? Five. Who'll give me six? I got $5. Who'll give me six? Five. Who'll give me six? I got $5 from Turtle Trader. Who'll give me six dollars? I got five. Who'll give me six? Five. Who'll give me six? Five, who'll give me six? Oh, here comes the train. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself first. Yeah, I got five, who'll give me six? There's a train going by our house now, guys, so that's why she muted her house self, but we got five, who'll give me six? Yeah, we know that you're a vintage, Adam. You'll always be vintage. That's why you're going to get to a thousand soon. Five, who'll give me six? Five, who'll give me six? I got five dollars, who'll give me six? I got five dollars. Who give me six? Five. Who give me six? I got five dollars from Turtle Trader. Who give me six? I got five dollars. Who give me six? I got five. Who give me six? I got five dollars going once from Turtle Trader. I got five dollars going once. I got five dollars going once, guys. Five dollars going once for Turtle Trader. I got five dollars once. We got five dollars going twice. Who give me six, guys? Five. Who give me six? Going twice to Turtle Trader at that five dollars. Going once to Turtle Trader. Going twice to Turtle Trader for five dollars, and we are sold to Turtle Trader for five dollars. Yay! I'm sad to see him go because he's so cute. Him so handsome with his little bow tie. <laughs> Congratulations, whoever won that. And then there's a kid trying to steal, sneak into the pool, pool again. So, all right, guys, I'm next up. All right. You guys want to see some vintage. So, we have a couple of items here. Um, we have an original 19, 1980 Bosque. This is one of the original Star Wars figures. Um, this shipping will be four dollars, and we're starting him off at ten. This is an original with his gun. We're starting him off at ten dollars. Original Star Wars figure guy in the package in the uh, in the pack. So you can the gun is inside, in great shape. Yeah. So that's his gun. It comes in the in the holder. And this is Bosk. Original Star Wars. In great shape, guys. Who's gonna stop me off at ten dollars? Four dollars shipping, guys. For an original Star Wars figure. Four dollars, Adam. Who's gonna give me ten dollars? We're gonna start this off at ten dollars, guys. Ten dollars for the Star Wars figure. 
Who's going to start me off, guys? A vintage, vintage Star Wars figure, Bosk. One of the original um, bounty hunters that was going after Han Solo. So who is interested in original Star Wars figures? Figure? Anyone interested, guys, for $10? He's in great shape. He comes in the packing. So, if anyone is just interested, ten dollar bid, guys. Come on, ten dollars for an original Star Wars figure. Anyone interested in in the Star Wars figure for ten dollars? Anyone interested in a Star Wars figure, guys, for ten dollars? I'm off at ten dollars, guys. For an original Star Wars figure. Ten dollars, guys. Not we're gonna pass on it. I got fishing for profits at ten dollars. Bosk. B O S K. Bosk. He's a Star Wars um, bounty hunter. I got fishing for profits at ten. I got fishing for profits at ten. Who give me twelve? I've got ten who will give me twelve. I've got ten dollars who give me twelve. I've got ten who give me twelve. I've got ten dollars for fishing for profits who give me twelve dollars. Ten who give me twelve. I've got ten who give me twelve, guys. It's an original Star Wars figure. In great shape. I got ten who give me twelve. Ten dollars who give me twelve. I got 10 who give me 12, guys. I got $10 going once. I got $10 once for, for fish and profit. Who's $10 who give me 10? Who give me 12? I've got 10 who give me 12. Going twice to fishing for profit for $10. Going once. Going twice for $10 to a fishing for profit. And we are sold for $10. The fishing for profit, guys. Thank you very much. Fishing for profit, please give me get me your information uh, so we can uh, send this out to you, please. Miss Rebecca, you are up. Okay. Um. This is Herbert the Hedgehog. He is a hand puppet with a red bandana, and he's from Avon, 1984. Didn't know his name. I had to look him up. Um, we're starting it at $5. Shipping is 4 All right, guys. Who's going to give us the, uh, for the hedgehog, $5, guys. Starting a bit at $5. Who's going to start the bid at $5? For the hedgehog, guys. $5 bid. Come on. Who's going to give me $5? <laughs> $5 bid. Who's going to start with $5 bid? Yeah, $5 bid, guys. $5 bid for the hedgehog. He is cute. He's got a little bandana. So. And there is sold listings on eBay. One sold for $18 and one sold for $15.45. So, here you go, guys. We're starting them off at five dollars, guys. Who's gonna Who's gonna give us a bid for five dollars? Got a bid for five dollars. Who's gonna give us a bid? Five dollars, guys. Who's gonna give us a bid for five dollars? Got a five bid for five dollars, guys. Who's gonna give it? Who's gonna give it up? It's a great little hedgehog, guys. The hand puppet, and also, so five dollars, guys. Who's gonna give us for five dollars? <laughs> That's a good one, Adam. That works. Yep. Five dollar bid, guys. Who's gonna give us a five dollar bid? I got a five dollar bid. Who's gonna give us a five dollar bid? For the little hedgehog, guys. Five dollar bid. All right, we're gonna give us a little minute minute and we're gonna check it out. Five dollars, guys. Who's gonna give us five dollars? Uh, $5 bid. 
All right, we're going to pass on the hedgehog until the end, guys. Miss Kimmy, are you ready? If Yep, yeah, okay. All right, I'm going to pass on that one, so we're going to go to Miss Kimmy for her new one. You have to mute yourself, unmute yourself on. Yeah, on I keep forgetting. I'm, me switching back and forth here is making it complicated on myself, but... Sorry, yeah, it's just... Oh, no, uh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. I mean, you're not... This is not your fault. I'm, I'm adulting over here. It's all good. All right, I'm yeah, going to pull out... I'm going to pull out some of my Hot Wheels. I hey. pulled out some of my personal Hot Wheels from my collection, from me being a kid. Rebecca and I were actually discussing today. We were talking about Barbies, and... And she's like, "Well, you were you into Barbies? And I was like, well, you know, sort of. I mean, if putting firecrackers in them and blowing them up counts, then yes. But you know, growing up with, with four brothers, I honestly wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. And they were into Hot Wheels. So I was into Hot Wheels. And some of them I've had for a long time. So I pulled out two. Let's see how good Derek is. We already know he's probably going to be able to name it in five seconds. But Yep, that's the Dusenberg. Yep. Okay. So it is marked on the bottom, Mercedes 540K, Mattel. Oh, I guess it's a mid 80s. Not technically a Hot Wheel, right? Um, yeah, 1982. Yep. It is one of my personal car collections. Right. Yep. And then I have this one. These were like my dream cars, seriously. <laughs> yep. I wanted a mob, like a car that looked like a, I'd be like a mobster. <laughs> what is part is the car that you just put up. I know I was just talking to Pittsburgh, and he has that one, but he's missing the missing the roof to that one. Yeah, and that's what's cool about some of these is they, you know, they they've been played with a little bit. You know, there's yeah. a few little oopses in them, but. They have the main parts, and they still are free spinning wheels. The mm -hmm. wheels, you know, they don't seem to be too messed up. Like they would still work just fine. Yeah, um, yep. they, they look pretty different. good. Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna do three. I'll do three fifty on the shipping, and I'll start these at at five. It, so you get two '80s Hot Wheels, the '32 Doozer, and the um, the Mercedes. Uh, great little cars there. I remember when they came out. Yeah, the um, Doozer says 1976 on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. but that's the that's the 80s version because it doesn't have the uh, it doesn't if uh, 76 would either be black wall or red line. So I know the black walls. Um. <laughs> yep, I hate I hate uh, uh, Yeah, Cliff, uh, exactly, yeah. Cliff the Gorilla Deville. <laughs> No, they just the Hot Wheels just made that car last year and it's out and so but um yeah they have one at um at Stop and Shop. I didn't buy it because uh, it wasn't the super treasure hunt. So so five dollars guys for these two really good chip good shaped hot wheels. Five dollars guys, five dollars. Yeah, these I bashed and crashed a lot a lot of cars, but there was a mm -hmm. few that I did not you know, they were kept in a case. $5, $5 bid, guys. Who's going to give us a $5 bid on these two Hot Wheels They're from the 80s? It was a 76. That one, even though it says 76, it's a 1982. Oh, is it 1982, even though it says that on it? Yes, oh, well, one says 82, the, the other one. It says 76. Yep. They're, yeah. both, they're, both in, they're both from the same era um, because if there was a 76, it would be a red line car. Um, oh. Or they came up with black walls. So... Either That's way, they're right. older than me. Yep, we are. <laughs> so who's interested for $5, guys, for these two Hot Wheels? Who's going to give us a $5 bid for two Hot Wheels, guys? Two great-looking Hot Wheels. Anybody interested, guys, for $5? $5. I know, I know, yep. Uh, Pat, Pat wants you to throw in the mustache. Well, that's your... Where did that's your... That it? is your... I'll do that if I can figure out where the heck I just put it. <laughs> I'm losing my marbles. I'll throw in the mustache, though. I'll do that. All right. That's fine. Five dollars with the mustache, guys. The five dollar bid from Pat D's. Who's got five? Who give me six? Five? Who give me six? 
So we're gonna adding in that mustache, that vintage mustache. So you Pat wants to drive those things around and put the mustache on, going around playing with them. That's it. Pat, Italian, it. Italian mustache. Italiano. Yeah. <laughs> so uh so yeah, so we'll get them five dollars. I got a five dollar there bid for the patties for the two two hot wheels and the mustache. Who's gonna give me six? Five who give me six. Five who give me six. No, no, I got five dollars who give me six. I got five dollars who give me six on these two hot wheels. Five who give me six. I got five dollars who give me six. I got five dollars who give me six dollars. I got five dollars once from Pat D's. I got five dollars once from Pat D's who give me six. Five dollars twice. Five dollars twice with the mustache, guys. <laughs> five dollars twice. And we are sold to Pat D's for five dollars with the mustache. Yay! That's awesome. From my personal collection. To my best for you. That's gonna be kind of interesting. Yeah, it's hopefully we make a video right. so oh, we can see what you look like. <laughs> All right, guys. Um let's see what we got here. I've got two. Let me go back. Give me me. There we go. All right, guys. I have two adventure people, adventure Fisher Price adventure people, Fisher Price vehicles. Two vehicles. Shipping is going to be eight dollars, guys. Eight dollars, and we're starting them off at ten dollars, guys. These are really hard to find. We're starting the bid off at ten dollars, guys. This is adventure people. These are seventies and uh, early eighties. They were the, the, the. This was the coming up of Star Wars. So these are even earlier than that. If you look at the adventure people um, figures that went in here, this is how they started to make Star Wars figures. They were called. They were kit bashing the actual Star Wars um, the adventure people to make the Star Wars vehicles. These are actually made by Kenner. Um, and the doors and the opens and the guys go inside. It's a great little piece here. You got the Ranger little, little they called them Rangers back then too, but this was kind of cool. And you got the actual mobile TV van. So I'm gonna eight dollar eight dollars start um I'm gonna start these off at ten dollars, guys. Both of both of these at ten dollars. If anyone's interested, please for ten dollars actual Fisher Price, great condition. Um, toys from the seventies, early eighties. Anybody? Are you interested? Great pieces, guys. Fisher Price. You know these are great pieces. Anybody is interested? We're gonna start the bid off at ten dollars. Start the bid off at ten dollars, guys. Starting the bid off at ten dollars, guys. Anybody interested in the Fisher Price cars for ten dollars? Not. Nah, we're gonna pass on them and move on, guys. Gonna, no bids for ten dollars. We're gonna move on. Oh, I got Pat D's at ten dollars. I got Pat D's at ten dollars. Who give me twelve? I got ten dollars. Who give me twelve? I've got ten dollars. Who give me twelve? Ten dollars. Who give me twelve? I've got ten dollars going once to pat these. We got ten dollars going once to pat these, and I'm looking for twelve. Ten dollars going once to pat these to twice. For both, this is ten dollars, guys. Who's gonna give me twelve? Going once. Sold to Pat D's for ten dollars. Thank you very much, Pat. Then you have this one. Miss Rebecca, you are up. I have a vintage car traveling game. 
Shipping will be five dollars. I want to start the bidding at six dollars. The copyright date on this game is 1937-1947. As touring card game. And this and this game all of a sudden it got changed to Millie Born. So if anybody remembers that game, but this is how it started out. It was boring. And this is the original directions that came with it. Yes, Patty, I will send you an invoice. Yes. All right, so we have the touring game from the 1930s. Uh, we're going to start that off. Oh, anybody interested? Are we starting that off? Rebecca? Uh, Six dollars. Shipping is five. <laughs> Kimmy. <laughs> so, yep. So, uh, this is like, if anybody remembers, this game started off in, in, in France called Millbones. And this is the English version. They called it Touring. So, all right, Pat. So we're gonna start in that, start in that six dollars, guys. Oh, oh, see, see, that's what happens. He he passed up on a Millborns game today of this weekend for a dollar. So this is the touring one. This is a little older. So we're starting at uh, six dollars, guys. Anybody interested? It's six dollars. So. Adam, Adam, so oh, Kimmy, Kimmy's uh, uh, quiet right now, so uh, we have to wait and see what happens. Um, Bribe him uh, with ice cream. So, yep, yeah, bribe him with ice cream. That's it. Or toy, uh, or toy. Or, hey, he might like something here. You never know. So, all right, six dollars, guys. Six dollars. Anybody interested? Six dollars, six dollars, six dollars. We'll pass on this, guys. We'll bring it on in the end. Okay. I'm gonna pass. So. The blue one's actually better than the dark one. All right. Kimmy, I think Kimmy's a little having trouble right now. So let's see if she can't. I'll move forward. Uh, Kimmy, yes. So we'll we'll pass. We'll pass on that. Uh, um, I will move on next. We'll give Kimmy a few seconds. Um, we are now. I have an actual. That's fine, Kimmy. That's what I thought. That's why we moved on. I have a bag of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, guys. I've got one, two, three, four, five, with Krang, and a couple of weapons, guys. So here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lot. Five, starting at $10, shipping of eight. I've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, guys, starting at $10, guys. Who's going to who's gonna give me a bit of $10 for all the turtles? Anybody interested at $10? Shipping will be $8, guys. Starting off the bid off at ten dollars for the turtles. Is anybody interested? I guess uh, I guess Alex is left. Uh, hopefully uh, he comes back because mm. yeah, I know it's it's expensive. I think it's like almost almost fifteen dollars to send these to you, Cliff. You know, I got Lisa C at ten dollars. I got Lisa C at ten. Who give me twelve? I've got 10 who give me 12. I've got $10 who give me 12 for all these turtles. I've got 10 who give me 12. That's cool, Lisa. 
And I get 10 who give me 12. I got 10 who give me 12 for all these turtles. I got 10 who give me 12. I've got 10 who give me 12. I've got 10 who give me 12. I've got $10 who give me $12. Yeah, turtle soup. I've got 10 who give me 12. 10 who give me 12. 10 who give me 12. I've got $10 once from Lisa C. Who's going to give me 12? 10 who give me 12 for all of these turtles. These guys are actually vintage turtles from the 1980s 10 who give me 12 I've got ten dollars who give me 12 I've got ten who give me 12 ten dollars once I've got ten dollars twice sold to Lisa C for ten dollars congratulations Lisa Just, I think I have your information. Just let me know. So, all right, Miss Rebecca, you are up. You're, you're muted. Was Kimmy gonna go next, or is she not? No, okay. No, 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 no. He's in the bedroom. So, okay, here we go. All right. so. This item, the shipping, is eight dollars. We're going to start the bidding at five. And there are these. Ringa ma jigs. They're all so you can build. Well, they're all so you can build up and you can make different things out of them. I remember when they came out back in the day. They're pretty cool, yeah. guys. If anybody's interested. I know a lot of people used to step on those, and trust me, they hurt. They hurt um, worse, than, worse than Legos. Yes, exactly. So what are we starting out at? Starting it at five, and shipping is eight. All right, guys. Who's interested in? And there's quite a few in there. Okay, so starting at $5, guys. $5. Who's going to give me $5 for the ringamajigs? Anybody interested in five, for five dollars the rigamajigs? We got thirty-seven people in the chat. Who's interested in buying these thingam ringamajigs? A little oddball. So yep, had to had to read had to uh, pronounce. Okay, right. but um, ringamajigs. Anybody interested for five dollars? Ringamajigs for five dollars. Anybody interested? So five dollars the ring of jigs. Going once, going twice. Pass on the ring of the ring of ring of my jigs. Oh look. wow, those are definitely uh tongue twisters. Right. All right, Miss Kimmy, you're up if you're even around. <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm, ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We did that earlier. <laughs> Having hell of a day, folks. What the hells is going on? Shout out to what the hells, by the way. Trying to hit 100k, 100,000 subscribers. Yeah. Why don't you just come say hi? I'm just gonna have him come say hi. Hi guys. Hello. Say How hi. you doing? Say hi to all YouTube. Hi. Hello. <laughs> and now we got Dominic involved. Hi, guys. <laughs> okay, go. Okay. okay. That means verified. Come on. Come on. Oh, that means I'm going to give you a big old smooch next time. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, back to the auction, folks. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do these as a bundle together. Shirley Temple Dolls. Um, shipping I'm going to do at $7.50. I'm going to start them at $10. They, and I'll show you each of them here. They do have their original tag on them that says 22 
98 on them. The boxes are a little rough, but she actually is, I don't want to put my grubby fingers all over too much, but. So that's cool. But we have. Yeah, it's really, I mean. For the eyes are creepy, are, but. It's yeah, I think all dolls are kind of creepy, but she, considering for size, like is really got quite a lot of detail. She has this little hanging tag on her and this cute little necklace all the way down to even her little shoes. I'm pretty sure she has tights or socks underneath that one. And the other one. I'm sorry to say, but that looks a little like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, her hair is in a hair net. She, she uh, has her hair nice and together still. Again, she has her little shoes. She's holding a tag that says she's made to love. Hey Swamp, hey Glenn, welcome in. Congratulations, guys. And I know we have Pat T's in at a thousand. Adam's right near a thousand. You know, guys, give these guys love. Um, I'm right near I'm near there too. I'm not that far away. For everybody, we can all get to everybody to a thousand. Yeah. Great, appreciated. All right, so where are we doing those at? We're doing those okay. at here or choice. No, um, together, together. I mean, together. you can buy them just at that and resell them and still make some, yeah. you know, uh, some money off of it. Okay, so ten dollars, guys. We're starting to bid off for these two Shirley Temple dolls at ten dollars. Who's gonna bid on these for ten dollars? Who's gonna bid on these ten dollars, guys? For Shirley Temple dolls. I know Shirley Temple has been around for a while. Um, you know, she was, there we go. My great find for you is at 10. Who'll give me 12? I've got $10. Who'll give me 12? I've got 10. Who'll give me 12? I've got $10. Who'll give me 12? For the both, both dolls I'm going for $10. Who'll give me 12? I've got $10 for my great finds for you. Both. Swamp pick says, both. Yeah, for both of them. Um, it does say Ideal Toy Corporation, 1982, New New York, New Jersey. Her eyes, go. yes, her eyes open and close and and freely. She's not like maybe, I call maybe dogs, maybe. vintage dogs and they are um, vintage dogs. Wow, dolls. <laughs> and a lot of them won't. You know, their eyeballs don't open <laughs> like real well anymore. Guys, so we got we got both. We got ten dollars for my great finds. Who'll give me twelve? I've got ten. Who'll give me twelve? I got ten. Who'll give me twelve? I got my great finds. I got Lady Freebird at twelve. Twelve. Who'll give me fourteen? Twelve. Who'll give me fourteen? I got twelve dollars from Lady Freebird. Who'll give me fourteen? Twelve. Who'll give me fourteen, guys? For both, guys. Both. I got twelve. Who'll give me fourteen? Twelve. Who'll give me fourteen? Two great Shirley Temple dolls. I got 14 for my great finds. Who give me 16? 14, who give me 16? 14, who give me 16? I got 14, who give me 16? I got $14, who give me 16? 14, who give me 16? 14, who give me 16? I got 14, who give me 16? Thank, thank you, Justin. I know you're in the chat. Uh, it's cool. awesome, dude. Uh, I got a lot of cool stuff coming up. So we got fourteen dollars for my great finds. Who's gonna give me sixteen dollars? Fourteen. Who'll give me sixteen? I got Boondocks buy sell for sixteen. Who'll give me eighteen? Sixteen. Who'll give me eighteen? I got sixteen dollars for both dolls, guys. Both. Sixteen dollars. Who's gonna give me eighteen dollars? Sixteen. Who'll give me eighteen? I got sixteen dollars. Who give me eighteen? Sixteen dollars. Who give me eighteen? I got Boondock buy sells at sixteen dollars. I'm looking for eighteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Looking for eighteen. Sixteen dollars once to Boondock buy sells, Mister Cliff. Who's gonna give me eighteen? 
Moon, I got sixteen dollars going twice. The Moondock buy sells going once, going twice. The Boondock buy sells third and final time. Sold to Cliff from Boondock buy sells for sixteen dollars, guys. Thank you very much. Great, great grab there, Cliff. So, ah, uh, you. As soon as I already put sold in my grave finds. I'm sorry. I know there is a. I know there isn't a. Uh, there's a lag. Um, sorry about that. I know when I put sold in, like I said at the beginning. Um, this went we didn't. Sorry. Uh, congratulations, Cliff. We have more stuff coming up for you, so ooh, don't worry. We got plenty of stuff. We'll be here for another probably two hours, maybe more. We'll have to see. All right, guys. Here we go. Next one up. I'm starting this at twenty dollars, guys. This one is another original Star Wars figure. It's Boba Fett, and Boba Fett does have his gun. Shipping will be four dollars. We're starting Boba Fett at four dollars, guys. $4. Uh, so we're starting to bid at $20 for the original Boba Fett. He's in great shape, guys. So, so anyone interested, we're starting this off at $20, guys. He comes in a little carrying case with his gun. So $20, guys. $20 for a Boba Fett. Anybody interested at for this Boba Fett for twenty dollars? We got this Boba Fett for twenty dollars. So anyone interested in this Boba Fett with 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 his weapon for twenty dollars? Great shape, guys. Excellent, excellent condition. He is mocked. In great shape. He's marked on the back tail. I can't. My my eye my eye is really bad. I can't read, but he does have a marking on the back on his back of his legs. So if you are interested in this, this is twenty dollars, guys. Twenty dollars for Boba Fett. If anyone's interested, please let me know. Twenty dollars for Boba Fett. <laughs> Twenty dollars for for Boba Fett, guys. Anyone interested in twenty dollars for Boba Fett? If not, we're gonna pass on him until the end, guys. We're gonna original Boba Fett. This is four dollars, Swamp. He is four dollars for shipping for Boba Fett. He comes in a little holder and he has his gun. This is an original. This is not of. This is not the reissues. This is an actual original Boba Fett from the eighties. This is not a, this is real. These are the real ones, guys. So anybody interested for twenty dollars, guys? Twenty dollars, twenty dollars for Boba Fett. If not, we're gonna pass on them. Shipping four dollars. That's cheap, guys. So anybody interested? If not, we're gonna pass on them until the end. I yeah, fishing for profits for twenty dollars, guys. Fishing for profits for twenty. I got twenty. Who give me twenty-two? I got twenty. Who give me twenty-two? I got fishing for profits for twenty for twenty-two. Fishing for profits for twenty. Who's gonna give me twenty-two? I got twenty. Who give me twenty-two on the Boba Fett original Boba Fett, guys? So, who's gonna give me twenty-two? I got I got twenty from fishing for profits. Who's gonna give me twenty-two? Twenty dollars for Boba Fett with the gun and the and the holder. So twenty dollars, guys. Twenty-two. I'm looking for twenty-two. I got fishing for profits. Have twenty going once. I got fishing for profits at twenty going twice. Buster Raccoon, this is an original. I can't read the date. 
Hold on, let me see if my son can read it. Adam, I need I need your help for a second because I can't read this. Pass it. No, I'm not passing this. This is a vintage. I'm not. This is not. Um, he's on. It's on the legs. I want to say I want to say eighty one. I just I'm not sure. I'm not a Star, a Star Wars guy. My my boy is the Star Wars guy. Um 1979. 1979. There you go. That you got it right, Swamp. Just wanted to make sure because they did make a second one in the eighties for Return of the Jedi. So nineteen seventy nine guys, it is marked on the back. This is an original. So I have twenty dollars. Twenty dollars from Fisher for Profits who's gonna give me twenty two. I got 20. He'll give me 22. Going second. Third and final time for the Boba Fett by $20. Going, going, sold for $20. For fishing for profits. $20. Thank you very much. Great job, guys. That's a great one. Okay, Miss Rebecca. Yeah, exactly, Rusty. Yep. Um, I do not see a date. Oh, this item is from 1996. Shipping will be $12. We'll start it at five. Hey, five dollars, guys, for the uh, for the reissue of the linking logs. I remember playing with these when I was a kid. They usually came in a tub like the other things. But uh, we're starting at $5 for the reissue of the Lincoln Logs, guys. Who's going to give me $5 for the Lincoln Logs? $5 for the Lincoln It's like a log logs. cabin type thing. Right. Yeah, that's what it, yeah. He makes. So I got $5 for Lincoln Logs. Five dollars I got. Who's gonna give me five dollars, guys? Five dollars for the Lincoln Logs. That's a great price, guys. Those are fun to play with. I remember they used to have a green roof back in the day. That's great for boys or girls. Yep. Real wood log cabin. Yep. Um Come on, guys. Five dollars for the reissue of the Lincoln Logs, guys. Anybody interested? Five dollars for the reissue of the Lincoln Logs. Great little piece. It looks like the little kids having a lot of fun over there. And I, if I remember, I don't think the originals had 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 doors. Is there any inner paperwork on those? Jill's wondering. No, it's just all pieces of wood. It's all just the wood, Jill. It doesn't show you how to build it. You got to use your... <laughs> we're, just, um, we're just good, Lynn. We just, that's, I got Jill. I got Jill Klosky at $5. I got $5 from Jill. I got five who give me seven. Five who give me seven. I got $5 who give me seven. I got $5 for this Lincoln Logs. Like, who give me seven? I've got five who give me seven. Five who give me seven. I got five dollars from Jill for seven. I got five who give me seven. We got a twenty-five second lag, so we're gonna give it. Uh... <laughs> it, it might be. You never know. <laughs> it's John. Somebody's. Uh, I'm back. We said, "Does it John from Nevermore Antiques on the cover?" <laughs> five who give me seven. Five will give me seven. I got five dollars going once. Who's gonna give me seven? I've got Jill Klosky, uh Klosky, right? If I'm saying it right, um, for five dollars. Who give me for seven dollars? Five who give me seven? Going twice to Jill. So seven for five dollars. Third and final time for Jill for five dollars. Sold the Lincoln Logs to. To Jill. Congratulations. You, Jill. Jill, if we don't have your information, make sure you please uh, send Rebecca your information if we do not have it. Okay. 
Miss Kimmy, you are up, and we are starting to rock and selling stuff. Woo Here we go. Well, I'm almost out of stuff. <laughs> okay, we, can, we got plenty of time. I got plenty. I got plenty of stuff sitting here. <laughs> That's right. I'm I'm here till the end, folks. <laughs> here we go. When I run out of stuff, I'll hang out in the chat. That's it. Thank you very much, Jill. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the bundle of uh, the bookshelf games that I have. I'm gonna do them together. I'll start them at ten. It's gonna be twelve. They're kind of heavy, so it, it'll be twelve to ship it. I got a Franken box it too. Um, sorry. Those might uh, be going to a medium flat rate, or is it too too or, big? For uh, yeah, it's the weight. Like I just, I like to make sure that they're going to make it there. I, if anybody has received a package from me, they know that uh, I like to forewarn people. I like tape and I also <laughs> like bubble wrap, but you know, I take pride in, in making sure things arrive, you know, um, right. This exactly. is cool. So this is backgammon. Um, this is the one mm -hmm. that I showed earlier and it appears this little cup right here reminds me of, I can't remember um, who it is, which one, which one it is, Duck Dynasty or one of them. I don't know. There's a little, it's totally off the subject, right? It's like shot glass uh, that they yeah, used. Yeah, one of those, a little plastic. I can't remember what show it is, but. So we got, that's pretty cool. Back in, Kimmy, you, you just muted yourself. Move. <laughs> and yeah, like these have not been played with yet, I don't think. Yeah, Sai, that's exactly Sigh. who it was. Yep. Okay. I yep. was like, oh no, am I saying the wrong name? Again, they, they haven't been open. Uh, even the board part of this one is cool. So there are the directions. Instructions. Mm -hmm. Uncle Sai, yeah. This is like a tabletop size here. Let me send it. Like it is huge. That's why I loved it. It was one of the ones that I wanted to keep, but I just, I have so many games. I can't keep all of them. But for being, you know, a vintage game and not ever being played and being this game, which is still, you know, a game that's even played now. It's pretty cool. Whoa, I'm all tangled up here. Um, it says backgammon easy 1973 on that part. I think you can just, you know, to hang this part up is kind of cool. Oh my goodness, I'm all tangled up here. <laughs> and then I'll show you all the other one, which is also cool. I have sold a lot of vintage games through my time of reselling. They do well and then we even play some depends on yeah just what game it is um this one is baker's it's 221b baker street the master detective game sherlock holmes i think even just the graphic on the front is too stinking cool that is cool um, now this one, these papers were copied. Um, I don't have the original one, but even the copies seem like it was done quite some time ago because the paper doesn't look like anything that's done recently. Even the printing, it still has like the weird printing lines all in it. Mm -hmm. So somebody did what I do with games and copied the parts that you need. Oh, see, there is one, I guess, right here. So, so you're both you're doing both for ten, or is it ten? Uh, yeah, yeah, both for both for ten. I like to leave a little bit if somebody does want to resell them, um, that they can do that. Again, the board is beautiful. I love it. I think it's so cool. We can come across something that still has that vibrant color. Mm -hmm. So sign it. Both of these guys. Both of these. These are bookshelf games. So they look like they fit on your bookshelf. I guess there is on some of these. Somebody did write a little bit on here. I didn't realize that, but. So 
If anybody's interested, for ten dollars for the both of them, okay, ten dollars for both. Anyone interested in these two games? I'm looking for a little card. Here's a cool little dice. It's like a multicolored dice. Is an all the little pieces. Hello, Lori. Hello, Frontier Flipper. I can't even. There we go. Now, Mrs. Beasley. Ah, yeah, she's going for like twelve hundred dollars right now. Yeah. Uh, if it's if I find one, um, I know Kimmy. You know you're looking in stores too. But to find a Mrs. Beasley in good shape, you're looking maybe. Eight hundred to a thousand dollars right now. So um, if we do, we'll let you know, Lori. Um, yeah, I just fine. started sourcing. Like, you know, again, I I was kind of at a halt there for a second, but I've been out on the hunt. I got a lot of cool things over the weekend. Not vintage toys though. Over the weekend. No. Family Affair. Yes, Turtle Trader. Yes, that is actually. Mrs. Beasley is from Family Affair. That was uh, Buffy. Was it Buffy, I can't remember the girl's name, but she was. That was her doll that she carried around the show in the sh on the show. Yeah. Yep. Buffy's doll. Yep. So, like I said, if you're looking out for it, I I know Kimmy and I will keep an eye out. And sometimes Rebecca finds them in uh, trash or in storage unit. We'll keep an eye out for you, Lori. Um, so, guys, ten dollars, please. Uh, ten dollars for both games. If anybody's interested, please ten dollars. Ten dollars for these two games. You got backgammon. If anybody rem even remembers how to play backgammon, I the instructions are in there. I re I I know how to play. It's just been a really long time. You know how to play chess? I know how to play chess. I do that's, too. That's another thing that I will pick. I pick up. A lot is I like, especially that I have all the pieces, even vintage I, chess pieces. So I play wizards chess. <laughs> you what? I play wizards chess. Oh, wizards chess or Star Wars chess? If there's nobody interested, we can pass. That's fine. Yep. If anybody's interested, please let me know. Oh. If not, we'll pass on that until the end, guys. Mister French. Yes, that was the guy. That was the butler. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to pass on that. But like I said, if anybody comes in and they miss something, we can definitely bring them up later on. Um, we got a lot to go to. I know I'm still looking at a lot of stuff on my floor. So, all right, guys. My next thing, and this might be interesting. I wish Flipping Particles was here. But um, I think she's still traveling. Yeah. Or maybe she just got back today because she hasn't. I'm missing D. I'm missing flipping particles because it's been far too many. Not, I mean, obviously people have lives outside of YouTube, but it's weird yeah. to see somebody Monday through Friday and then they're not there for a couple of days. <laughs> right. I have four bags of actual minifigs. Actual minifigs. These are from the movie Lego. Lego movie. Here is Minecraft. Assorted ones here. Some Ninjago. Some, I think this, if I remember right. Look, there's a SpongeBob in this one. So, and then we have an assortment of other ones here. So, I'm going to, this is going to be $8 shipping, guys. And we are doing eight dollars on all these four bags, and it's we're starting this at twenty dollars for all four bags. Now, so anybody who's interested, please let me know. Who's it, Jim? Oh. So we're starting this at twenty dollars for all of these with eight dollars shipping, guys. These figures are going alone. Three to five dollars each. There's a pile of them plus some extras. Um, and I know there's a lot of stuff here. So if anybody is interested, starting a bid at twenty dollars, guys. If we get a bid of twenty dollars, guys, 
If you get a bid of twenty five dollars, it'll be free shipping, and I'll be throwing in a sealed plate. So, so if I get a if I get a bid of twenty five dollars for all of this, it'll be free shipping. I got Turtle Trader at twenty. Who's gonna give me twenty? Who's gonna give me twenty five? Twenty. Who'll give me twenty five? If it, we hit twenty five, it'll be free shipping, guys. I got twenty. Who'll give me twenty five? I've got twenty. Who'll give me twenty five? I got Swamp Picker at twenty five. I got Swamp Picker at twenty five. Who'll give me thirty? I got twenty five. Who'll give me thirty? I've got twenty five. Um, it's 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 a mix of both, Kimmy. That's why. Um. 25 will give me 30. I'm going to 30, Turtle Trader. You have to go to 30. Once we hit past 20, we hit $5 increments, please. So if you're interested, I got 20. I got 25 from Swamp Picker. Who's going to give me 30? I got 25 who'll give me 30. I've got 25 who'll give me 30. We're at 25, so we got free shipping, guys. Who's going to give me 30? Come on, guys. I'm going $5 increments now that we passed $20. So if anybody's interested, we're going to go $30. Um, Turtle Trader, if you're, okay, Turtle Trader's at $30. Who's going to give me $35? $30, who'll give me $35? I've got $30, who'll give me $35? I know there's more than, I think there's more than 30 figures in here. And plus this, this alone. So I got $30, who Give me 35. Free shipping, guys. 30. Who give me 35? I got $30. Who give me 35 for all these Lego minifigures plus the plate? I think this plate goes for like $15. I got $30 for Turtle Trader. Who give me 35? I've got 30. Who give me 35? I've got 30. Who give me 35? I got thir Turtle Trader for 30 for $30. Going once. I got Turtle Trader at $30. Who's going to give me $35? It's a great deal, guys. It's free shipping now. You know, this is like $15, and there's more than this. This point. Oh, my God. There's one, two. It's just in this bag. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's 12 just in this one bag, guys. I got Turtle Trader at $30. Who's going to give me $35? I get thirty dollars. Who give me thirty five? I've got thirty dollars. Who give me thirty five? I got thirty. Who give me thirty five? Going twice. I got thirty. Who give me thirty five? Going twice. I've got thirty dollars to Turtle Trader for thirty dollars. Congratulations, Turtle Trader. No, Melissa, you, I already said sold. I'm sorry. I was just putting it in. When uh, you came up, I called. So I'm sorry, um, Melissa. Um, so that's uh, thirty dollars free shipping, and it goes to Turtle Trader. Turtle Trader, if I don't have your information, please uh, get me that, please. Yes, there was Ninja Turtles Rusted Raccoon. Yep, Lisa bought them. So see. <laughs> All right, Miss Rebecca, you are up. My next item, the shipping will be nineteen dollars. Bidding will start at ten, and it's this doll, the Angelina doll collection, guys. So it's starting this at ten dollars. So she has never been taken out of the box. So we're gonna start in this at ten dollars, guys. If anybody's interested, please let us know. We've got starting for ten dollars, guys. Who's gonna give me ten dollars? That okay. <laughs> That's okay, Lisa. I know you're here. Who's gonna give me ten dollars for this for this doll, guys? We got ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. Um if if you want, Kimmy, it's up to you, hon. You can do whatever you need to do. If you want to find more stuff, I'm. that's okay. It's your call. 
Um, so we got ten dollars, guys. Ten dollars for this doll. We got ten dollars for this doll, guys. Anything? Uh, ten dollars for this cute little doll. It's an Angelina doll. Anybody interested? If anybody's interested, and if anybody is interested in any of Kimmy's stuff that she has put up, please let us know. Um, Kimmy is going to be stepping out for a few minutes if she doesn't have got anything else. Um, but please uh, let me know. Um, so if we have a bid of ten dollars, guys, ten dollars for this, guys, for the for the doll. If we don't have a bid, we're going to move on. If anybody's interested, please let me know. So, anybody interested in this doll? If anybody's interested, if not, we'll pass, guys. So, wow, there is a huge lag. We're going to have to wait a minute, guys. Um, I'm actually watching the video, and it's still on the... Um, on the Legos. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So I guess, guys, I know you guys can hear me and you see us. Well, we're not going to, we're going to wait a little for a minute. I know they're not going to be able to see us. So we're like that far behind tonight. So, wow, that's, that's, um, <laughs> Pat tease. Uh, that's okay, Kimmy. You know, I know Kimmy. I know you can hear us, and we're like really. We're not even to you yet, Rebecca. Did you? Are you have your? You have yours on. Are you watching yours too or no? Yeah, I see me and the doll. You do. I must be yep. behind. Then. All right, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I'm going by what I'm seeing, but I must be twenty second delay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, guys, if you're interested in the doll. I'm sorry. I was just going by what I'm seeing. Um, something must have happened where I'm like really behind on mine. Yeah, I'm really behind. Yeah, I'm really like really behind, 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 behind. All right, I'm caught up now. So good, we're good now. Yay! We're caught back up. Yay! It's a miracle. All right, all right. Anybody interested for ten dollars, please, guys, let us know. That will move on. So, all right. Yeah, I refreshed it. So that's what I did. Yep. All right. I know. That's what I just did. I, I got everything squared away, guys. All right. If anybody's interested in this, if not, all right. So uh, we'll pass on this, guys. Okay. All right. We'll pass on this till the end. Sorry about that, guys. We'll pass. We'll go to the next. I know Kimmy is out right now, but if anybody. Saw something that she did put up or is just coming in. Um, she can put up her stuff later on if you're interested in any stuff. She had some really cool things. If not, I'm going to bring up my next item. All right, guys. My next item is quite kind of big. It's going to be like $20 to ship if I can get it any better. This is actually a gem doll. The gem on the back, gem doll car from 1980s. So if anybody is interested, we're starting this off at $20, guys. This has an actual working radio in the back. If anyone is interested in this, we're starting this at $20. It's going to be about $20 to ship. It's really, I mean, it, the only thing it's missing is the hood ornament. And the roof. But a lot of people lost the roof because they put the dolls in. So if anybody is interested in this gem, gem in the holograms car, it's $20, guys. So, <laughs> so $20, guys, if anybody's interested in the gem in the holograms. Um, this is 1980s. This was in competition with... Um, Barbie and the Rockers at the time. This has an actual working radio. It takes a 9-volt battery, and it actually works. There you go. See? So here's the kiss. Guys, if you really want to see something, look this up online. In this condition, this condition, it's going for close to $100.
I'm asking $20 for this, guys. $20 shipping. It's a really big, heavy item. Um, if anybody is interested, please. $20 bid, guys. I've got 20 Give me a $20 bid on the gem. These are just stickers that somebody put on. They can easily come right off. You know? Now look at They're coming right off right now. Um, but it actually is marked gem in the holograms on the back. So, so if anybody is interested, this is gem in the holograms. I'm asking $20. It'll be about $20 shipping, guys. If anybody is interested, if not, we will pass it. So, great vehicle. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But you can't find these. If you look online there, big money. So if anybody is interested, we're starting to bid off at $20, guys. If not, we'll pass on to it and we'll move on. So. All right, guys, I'll give you a, a little bit of a lag. But if you're interested, we're starting to bid at $20, guys. It, this is worth it. Worth more than that all day. You know, if not, I'm just going to bring it to the next toy show, clean it all up, and and sell it, you know. But I'm giving it all for it to you guys first. A purple TMNT. Oh, you're talking about, I know which I know which one you're talking about. Um, yeah, good. That's another one I had to find. I know, I know um, Alex has been looking for it. That is Bebop and Rocksteady's Cadillac. That is hard to find. This is just as hard. If you guys are interested in it, $20. If not, we'll pass on it, guys. It's a great piece. You know, that's where, this is where um, I don't have the box uh, rack rusted. Um, you know how hard that is. But even just getting it this way for $20, come on. I mean, I know the radio works. I put the battery in it. Um, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, and you got a great gem in the holograms car. If not, we're gonna pass on it, bring it up later. Great piece. Uh, sorry guys, if you're not interested in it, but um, we'll move on. Yeah, the cat that uh, uh, Tiffany, that is that is a hard car to find. Not. Yeah, exactly, ru uh, rusted. I mean. So, yeah, so if you're interested, if not, exactly, exactly. I got the head. I got one missing. I'm missing one headlight. Exactly. Anybody interested for $20? Um, if not, guys, I mean, I'll too try to do better on the, on the shipping, but it is a heavy, big car. Um, just let me know, guys. Um, yeah, exactly. All right. If not, we'll pass on it. Guys, and if it was anybody's interested in it, please let me know. All right, Rebecca, you're up. Okay, this is my last really heavy item. Shipping will be twenty dollars. It is a Tonka semi fire truck, I believe. And this is the trailer. Because I was like point two away and something. I want to start the shipping at 15. No, oh, here, here you go. Uh, I got a 4.6 in religion. 4.1 in math. Okay. 4.7 in reading and literature. Okay. Yeah. 4.5 in writing and composition. Okay. Five in spelling and vocab. Three, uh, three point eight in social studies. I stayed the same. I'm at, I don't think it works that way, Craig. <laughs> science, Mr. Santoro, I bet was like another Miss James. She, I mean, oh, whoa, 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 uh, Mrs. Toledo. Okay, what did you get? I got a three point seven in science. And I've got, I got all fours and stuff. Why are you getting mad at me? Nothing. I'm not getting mad at you. I've gotten fours and everything above my science test. I've gotten 
50 out of 50s and everything. I just don't. So is anybody interested at 15? Shipping 20? Um, world language. I It is a Tonka semi. Not sure what year. I I got you, sister. All right, what are we starting this bad boy at? It's starting at fifteen. Shipping's twenty, and <laughs> Derek's the one that knows about it. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Uh, I think, by the way, it's really, really awesome. Um, we're going to start this off at 15. I see that Derek already put 15 in the chat. Can we get $15, folks? 15. <laughs> 15, dollar, 15 dollar. Can I get $15 for Rebecca? This is a pretty cool truck. Now, I have seen lots and lots of boy toys through my time of bargain hunting, and I have not come across that one. Um, I don't think... I have, I mean, maybe, but uh, not commonly. It's definitely not common. I usually see more of the dump truck type of things is, is what I come across a lot more often. So, yes, Adam. Anybody interested in this for 15? Yes, it is 20 to ship. It is a little bigger uh, item. And heavy. And heavy. It looks. Can you flip it? I don't know if you've showed the bottom side of it, but try to show us from. Oh, now that is cool. I, like I think that. it's got like little fire extinguishers on the back. Right here. And right here. Nice. Do even people agree? Nash truck. Anybody interested? It is starting out at 15. I can hear my son talking right outside this window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Agreed, Debbie. Come on, great item at our special auctioneer. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody interested in this? What does the side say? Or does it say anything? I see on one on, on the side towards the camera, maybe it did say something at one time. Uh, Tonka USA. Nice. Yeah, Pat, I, I tried to put them up for auction, but nobody, you know, nobody seems to be interested in the price of priceless. <laughs> I'm talking about, about uh, you know, adulting, mom life. Anybody interested? If not, I think we maybe should show at the end. Do you have something else? We're winging it. I just hijacked the auction, folks. <laughs> oh, cool. See, I, didn't, I, I have no skills, Rusted Raccoon, in that. Oh, you ordered a webcam today. That is awesome. This is I, like my second time ever even trying to call an auction. I've been to a gazillion of, you know, auctions. I've watched a whole bunch of auctions even on eBay, but that's not the same. I mean, obviously. And then YouTube, I have watched quite a few auctions, which are really kind of becoming a, a, a popular thing. Find some good deals. Two Barbie dolls from 1966. Oh. If anybody is interested in Barbie dolls, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I couldn't really tell you about them because I didn't play with Barbie dolls. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to tell you earlier when you were like, So, what do you know about Barbie dolls? I'm like, That I blew <laughs> them up with fireworks. <laughs> but, you know, uh, vintage ones, I know do well price wise it's shocking how expensive some things or how high price some things go for 
I see that you dressed them. Yeah. Uh, what did you say you're gonna start this at? I'm gonna put start in the chat there. We could start it at five dollars with, you know, four dollars shipping. Yeah, they they should be pretty light. I like the girl with the pink dress. Starting five dollars. Anybody interested in? These two fabulous looking Barbies for $5. From 1966. Um, are, do they have any markings on them anywhere? Without showing too much skin, because this isn't that kind of auction, folks. Mattel Incorporated. Yep, Mattel Incorporated, 1966. Can you even see it? No, I like how I always squint like that's going to make it better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I at least see that she's marked down there, though. And the other one, Mattel, 1966, and that one says Malaysia. Nice. So, yes, we have these two fabulous-looking Barbies starting at $5. <laughs> this is apparently laughing. Yeah, I mean, which is good. It reminds me of a. I guess technically last week we did have some nakedness because there was trolls. Not trolls yep. in the chat, kind of thing, but we had some trolls. Anthony auctioned off some trolls. Is Malaysia her name? No, Pat. <laughs> 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 You're a dork. All right, we have Catherine in at five dollars. Can we get six for these two Barbie dolls? Their hair does need help. I don't know how to. They need to go to the salon, the spa, yeah. and salon, and get their hair did. What is in that one's hair? Does she have like a hair tie or something in there? Some kind of hair tie. She came that way. Ooh, in the box. Pretty sequins. Catherine is still holding the highest bid at five dollars. Derek, do you wanna take over? Are you ready? You're all set. Yeah, go ahead, Kimmy. All right, I'll finish this one this one out for you. <laughs> you gotta do your boodle boodle <laughs> thing. Can I get six dollars for these two fabulous Barbies? <laughs> Anyone interested? Six dollars. I don't know a whole lot about Barbies, but that sure sounds like a good deal. Star City Picker says, I cannot afford to pay for one woman, much less than two. <laughs> <laughs> um, Catherine, you need to uh, if, um, email one of us, or actually it would be Rebecca on this, um, your information, your YouTube name, your real name, and a shipping address unless your paypal is already set up with your name and your shipping where it needs to be shipped to i see we have adam's exploits in at six dollars can we get seven dollars he just wanted me to do the boodle boodle loops you know it yep. just for you adam six dollars okay violet you don't need to cry my dog my dog is sad that you all aren't bidding higher okay she's over here crying <laughs> Six dollars, we get seven. Oh, don't worry, Debbie, we got it. Seven dollars for these two fabulous Barbies. Ooh, and show off their clothes. I really like that pink dress. I would wear that. Can you, can you show them a little higher? I want to see their full outfit. Let's model it. Go all out. Catherine's at Catherine seven. Catherine is in at seven. Can we get eight? Catherine holds the highest bid at seven dollars. Ooh, I love that dress. Fabulous. A little poofy uh, um, sleeves. Not exactly my style, but it seems fitting probably for the era with the little lace on the bottom. Anybody else interested? Catherine holds the highest bid at seven dollars. <laughs> Mama wants to know if it will fit me. I would wear that dress if it was my size. 
Boondock Buy Sell Trade says, if I was a doctor treating depression, I'd just prescribe boodle tapes. <laughs> That's funny. Cliff, I love you. You're so awesome. Catherine still holds the highest bid. Anybody interested in this for $8? $8, $8. Can I get $8? $8, $8, $8, dollar, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8. That's just what I'll do. I can't be, you know, I'm not good at being a real auctioneer. I'll just start making songs to them all. <laughs> wasn't there a band like the what was it? The doodle no the doodle bugs or something, wasn't it? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Doodle bop. Doodle bops. So Kimmy will be the Kimmy, Kimmy will be the boodle boodle. <laughs> I'm I'm getting the whole you know YT world in on the the boodle oodle loops as Adam would say. Catherine still holds the highest bid at seven dollars. Anybody else interested in these two Barbie dolls with their fabulous outfits and their hair that needs a little help? <laughs> It's all right. We all have bad hair days. I mean, it, if I hadn't brushed my hair in that long, would you say from the 60s? I'd say their hair looks rather nice. <laughs> if nobody else is interested in going in at eight, I think we should count this down. I'm going to put it going once. Oh, Adam, yeah. right <laughs> in. It says, okay, I'll go $8 for Kimmy's boodle boodle oops. <laughs> Adam, I love you too. If you guys are not subscribed to our friend Adam, you should be. Such a good guy, such a great supporter, one of the best moderators in the business. And I know that he is trying hard to hit that one special number, that that big 1K. Um, should be, you, he should be close. Yeah, Adam, I bet you make it soon. All right, so we have Adam in at eight. Anybody interested in these for nine? Can I get nine dollar? Nine dollar, nine dollar, nine dollar. That is a workout for real for me. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue is tired after my days. Just see so you all now. <laughs> I'm going to be old and gray, and it's going to crack me up every time. That is good to know, Cliff. That is good to know. <laughs> we are going to start counting this down. Going once to Adam's exploits for $8. Adam, you are awesome. Fat Man the Flipper says, you are awesome, Lisa. Thank you so much. Yeah, she did uh, say that she bought that for you, them turtles, huh? She said yeah. something about you better you better come meet her, I think is what she said. Since y'all live hour like an hour, hour away. Yeah. That would be cool. I'm jealous. I should have bought the turtles and then I would get to meet him. <laughs> I don't live an hour away though. I live more like probably 30 <laughs> driving. No, maybe 28 or I don't know what it is. I know to Darlene, to Norgus R, it's 26 hours. We are going twice still to Adam's exploits for $8 for these two fabulous Barbies. <laughs> Lisa says, my pleasure. I know they'll make you have a big smile worth it. Oh, you are such a good person, Lisa. That was very sweet of you to do for him. Fair warning, folks. I'm going to give it a second here to make sure that we, I don't know how far we are behind in our delay, but if just a it's friendly reminder, make sure that you... Seconds. Make sure that you are on live chat and not top chat. Also, you can either refresh or you can hit the, the actual words, the live words, if it's gray, um, and it will change and you'll be caught back up. So, And I'm going to call it, folks. We are sold to Adam's Exploits for $8. $8. Thank you, Adam. All right. I'm going to hand the show back to Derek now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It was, oh, uh, it's all right, man. I was like, all right, you know, and I love Rebecca. So I was I was in on it in two seconds. I'm like, I help my sister out. My sister yeah. from another mister. <laughs> all right, guys. Next one we have up here is a bag of He-Man figures. 
It's, I think his name's Ramrod or something like that. Um, Lockjaw. Man at Arms. Princess Caspian. And Battle Armor, E Man. And Mighty Fist. He throws a bunch. So, um, and a couple of extra arms. So, we got a whole bag here, guys. Um, starting these off at $10 will be $8 shipping. So, if anybody's interested in the He Man, uh, starting at $10, guys. Starting bid at Ten dollars. Prince Adam. Yep. I don't know. I said Caspian. <laughs> All right. Starting it off, guys. Ten dollars. Anybody interested at ten? I got Swamp Picker at ten. Who give me twelve? I get ten. Who give me twelve? I get ten dollars. Who give me twelve? I got I got Swamp it at ten already. Western Raccoon. Uh, you have to go twelve. Ten. Who go twelve? I get ten dollars. Who go twelve? I've got ten. Who will go twelve? Ten dollars. Who will go twelve? I've got ten dollars. Who will go twelve? No, nope. it's all right, Justin. We're doing two dollars increments, buddy. Well, I got Rusty the Raccoon at twelve. Who give me fourteen? I got twelve. Who give me fourteen? I got twelve. Who give me fourteen? I got twelve dollars. I got Swamp Picker at fourteen. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen dollars for He Man. Who give me sixteen? You we'll have one, two, three, four. You got seven guys. Got for fourteen. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen dollars. Who give me sixteen for the for the He Man figures? I got fourteen dollars. Who give me sixteen? I'll show them again. So fourteen, eight dollars. Well, Justin, if you buy it, I'll just run it over to you. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Justin's right down. It's not that far away from me. So, I got eighteen. I got I got fourteen. Who give me sixteen? Fourteen. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen dollars. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen dollars. Who give me sixteen? I got fourteen dollars. Who give me sixteen, guys? Fourteen. Who give me sixteen? I got 14. Who'll give me 16? I got 14. Swamp Picker going once. I got 14 going twice to Swamp Picker. I got $14 going twice. $14. Who's going to give me 16? I got 14 going once. Going twice at 14. Sold to Swamp Picker. For fourteen dollars. Thank you very much, Swamp. Glenn. Great job, guys. So here we go. Miss Rebecca, you're up. I have a car jar. Hey, a Hot Wheels car jar, guys. Shipping is eight dollars. Right. Of course, that does not include the jar. And we're started out at six bucks. Six dollars for a, a jar of Hot Wheels, guys. <laughs> we got we got some NASCARs in there. We got some Hot Wheels. I know that's some pretty good cars in there, guys. So uh, six dollars we're starting this off at. It's a car jar. Come on. I know we do jewelry jars, but here's a car jar. How many cars? Probably look like t about 20 in there. 20, 22. Let's see. More than 20. More than 20. Swamp. <laughs> so I got... I get we get six dollars, guys. Who's gonna give who's gonna give six dollars to start this off? Great little Hot Wheels jar. You no? Know? 
We usually do jewelry jars. We got Hot Wheels jars. Who's going to give us $6, guys, for this Hot Wheel jars? <laughs> Who's going to give us $6, guys? Anybody interested in the Hot Wheels jar? Anybody interested? It's a great jar, guys, full of cars. If anybody's interested, I know there's a, there's a van in there. I know there's a couple of hot Nat NASCARs in there. Um, there's a helicopter in here. I got Lizzie in at six dollars. Who's gonna give me eight? I got six at six dollars. Who's gonna give me eight? Six. Who's gonna give me eight? Six. Give me eight. Uh, Marie, uh, there is no. I don't have any Star Trek stuff coming. No, I do not. I have Star Wars and some other stuff coming up, but not Star Trek. I got six who give me eight. Six who give me eight. I got Liz Ann at six dollars. Who give me eight? Yeah, that's fine, Justin. I have no problem with that, bud. You definitely just, just give me a call tomorrow. Um, six who give me eight. I got six dollars who give me eight. I got six dollars who give me eight. I guess Lizzie had six dollars going once. Who's gonna give me eight dollars? I get Liz Ann at six going twice. Third and final warning for six dollars with Liz Ann. We are sold. We got Liz Ann selling at six dollars. Thank you, Liz Ann. Great, great find there. Okay. Um Let's see. I know what I'm going to do. All right, guys. This is a treat. These are all. Oh, let me switch off. I'm good. This is. He took the glasses off. These guys are all corpse figures. These are from the 80s and 90s. Um, these are actually from the 80s and 90s. I have a whole box of figures. I have body parts that I've taken off and put together. You can make about 100 figures. This whole box of corpse figures, $50 free shipping for all these corpse figures. They're from the 80s all the way up. They're like G.I. Joe's. They're G.I. Joe knockoffs, but they still go for good money. Back. These are from the 80s, guys. So if anybody is interested, $50 free shipping, pull box. That has to be, jeez. Piles of them, guys. Piles of them. There's, this whole box is completely full. So if you're interested, $50 free shipping. Whole box of G, uh, cork figures. Um, great, great deal, guys. A whole box. If anybody is interested, um, you're all there. So, if anybody's interested, uh, Rebecca, how was the shipping on the Hot Wheels? I know you can hear me. Uh, Lizanne's asking. Um, shipping is eight dollars. Eight dollars, Lizanne, on the shipping. Okay. So, thank you, Rebecca. Um, yep. So, guys, if you're interested, fifty dollars. All these. There's at least. 60 70 guys in here uh you guys can put them all together everything is here i mean i've got every these guys still complete oh everybody's complete so you just for fifty dollars for the whole box free shipping of corpse figures aka the replica gi joe figures if anybody is interested please let me know this is the uh uh, okay, that's okay, Gucci. That's fine. But please, I'm asking you right now, Gucci Spaghetti, you're on warning right now. 
please, if you act up, you will be actually at, at, uh, asked to leave, okay? This is your warning now from the auctioneer. One, one slip up tonight, and I'm asking you to leave. So if anybody's interested in these, $50 for the whole box. If not, we're going to pass on them and move on to see how many things Rebecca has left. If not, I have a couple of I have some more pieces here. Uh, so please let me know. So. Because of last night, Gucci. I'm just, that's it. I'm just warning you now. And I don't mean to be mean to everybody. Um, you know the situation. And that's it. One warning. All right, Miss Rebecca, you're up. I didn't want the uh, figures, so. If you don't have anything, just let me know. How many more do you have left? Oh, I pulled, I pulled a lot. Okay. Just because I knew you had a lot, so I pulled yeah. extra stuff. Okay, that's fine. I have a train okay. car. I have no idea how old it is or what what year that's or an, anything. That's an, 80s, that's an 80s Tyco. That's a Texaco um, gas, oil gas um, tender. So great little piece, guys. Um, what are you asking? Uh, let's start the shipping. Or the shipping should probably be... I don't know, probably about six dollars. Yep. And we'll start it at five. All right. There's kind of a glare, huh? Yeah, it's not bad. It's just only like it's, it's fine. All right, so we got we got a five dollar five dollar bid, guys, for this Texaco Tyco uh, H O um, tender. That um, if you're interested in trains, it's a great little piece. Still in box. The box is a little damaged, but not bad. But it's a nice little piece. So if you do, if you're in the trains, five dollar bid, guys, you can uh, keep this going. So if you're not interested, we'll move on. It's a Tyco Tyco H O train. Um, it is just a a car, the oil car. Um, if you're interested, uh, yeah, we're starting to be at five dollars, guys. If anybody interested in this, please start the bid at five dollars. Hey, Oregon Coast, thank you for showing up. Um, we have some other more lot more stuff come up, so if you're interested, we're gonna be showing some things. Um, so five dollar bid if you Tyco uh, HO scale. I know that I know they go for fourteen fifteen dollars, so. Um, if anybody is interested, please uh, place a bid five dollars. So five, set shipping will be six. So if anybody is not interested, we'll pass on this and move on. So okay. Uh, fishing for profits. They were corpse. C O R P S. They were actual knockoffs from GI Joe. Um, from the 80s and 90s, there's a ton of them. We have $50 for the whole whole box. There's probably, I want to say, 75 to 100 figures in here. Um, what I did was um, I took them apart so you guys could, you can put them back together. Everything is here. Um, these are these are still in the bag. These are all the parts here. Um, can they even see you? No. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me right now. <laughs> okay. Um, so, looks like we're going to pass on that Texaco for now, and we'll move on to something different. Um, but, yeah, Fishing for Profits, um, I do have. There's a ton of them. If you're interested, please let me know. $50 for the whole box, free shipping. If not, we'll move on. Um, uh, trying to think of people what people are looking for. Okay, I know fishing for profits is still here. This is a Tuscan Raider Star Wars. This one is still partially on the card back. 
was never pulled out of the back of the back of the package. Just the, the came off the back of the card. This is really good, excellent chip. Never, ever, ever taken out. So this is vintage, 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 old school, great shop. I'm asking twenty dollars, four dollars shipping, guys. So if anyone is interested in the Tuscan Raider, SK, aka Sand People, this is um, uh, Oregon Coast. No, this, this is an actual vintage toy auction tonight. Uh, that's what we're doing tonight. Corpse. Yes, that's Catherine. You got it right. So we're doing actual uh, vintage toys today. Next week, we go back to our normal auctions. And we'll have all different stuff. So, but we're asking $20. Like I said, still has the paper on the back. It's never been taken out. This is an actual, this is great. This is $20, guys. Sand, sand people, original from the 80s. Uh, like I said, if you're interested, it's $20 with $4 shipping. If anybody is interested, and it has... A protector so it doesn't get damaged so i know if, uh fishing for profits you bought the last two um these are still a vet this one's available twenty dollars with four dollars shipping it's a sand person with the blit with with the black with the blister still on it so if anybody's interested in this if not we're gonna pass on it no, Black Series Star Wars, that's um that's new too new. This is actual nineteen seventy nine Star Wars stuff, exactly from the movies, the original movies. Uh, Black Series, if we do get some, they will be later on in a, in other ep, in other um uh, auctions that we'll do. But um this is most of the stuff that I have is all vintage stuff from the eighties. So, um, in seventies. So, if anybody is not interested in this, uh, twenty dollars plus four dollars shipping, or vintage, yes, original set, yeah, I, yep, I, yep, yes, Joe. So, if nobody's interested, we're gonna pass on it, uh, and we'll move on to the next item. So, twenty dollars plus uh, four dollars shipping, guys, and if you do, if fishing if you do um if you do buy this we will do combined shipping because you bought the other two so that will pass on this guys it's a great piece going back into its package and it'll be there to go so all right all right looks like we're gonna pass on it guys um all right, Miss Rebecca, you're up. This one is a metal train. That is that is an engine. That's Santa Fe. It should be marked underneath on the black part. Should say what it is. Uh, T Y C O. Tyco, that's the it's the Tyco Santa Fe HO scale train. Uh, if anybody is interested in that, what are you starting that at? Five dollars. Five dollars shipping. That's probably what eight dollars shipping. Eight dollars shipping. Yeah. All right. So that's that's five dollars, guys, for the Santa Fe engine. You know those go for more than that. If anybody is interested, we're starting that out at five dollars, guys. Five dollars. We're starting that out at. Starting this Santa Fe out at five dollars. It's an engine. It's a great little piece. Um, that is actually the engine. It's heavy. It has the has the engine in it, so that can start your uh, train collection off. And that's a great price for an engine, guys. It's five dollars. So if anybody is interested. Please let us know. Uh, 
put put your bid in the in in the uh, in the chat. Uh, if you are on live chat, please not into uh, top chat. We can keep this going, guys. Um, I know we have a lot more left to go, guys. Uh, we have 35 people watching. Uh, what year? I want to say that's probably 84. Uh, Rocky Mountain Flipper, 84, 85. Uh, Tyco piece. It should say, it should be marked. It should say something underneath next to the Tyco. Is it, what does it say? China or Hong Kong or Malaysia? It says Hong Kong. So it's anything, but it's before. Um, to uh, it's before 84. So. Because it's a Hong Kong piece, so. So if anybody's interested, $5, guys. $5 with $8 shipping. If anybody's interested, please put a bid. So if anybody's interested, we got plenty of stuff coming up, everyone. If you guys are interested in this stuff, please. Make the bids. Uh, so, guys, have a box. They came uh, in this box. I don't know if that's the original box or not. That's an Atherin box. Um, so it's not the original box. That's not the original box. The Atherin box. That's from the sev That's from the early seventies. That Atherin box. So that is just the Santa Fe. If anybody is interested, please let us know. Um, if not, we're going to pass on it and move on. So anybody interested in the Santa Fe? Uh, if not, we're going to move on, guys. All right, we're going to pass on that, Miss Rebecca. All right. What I have now, guys, is I don't know if I should put this up, but we have a complete we have a complete mass matchbox case with 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 with 20 cars involved. I will pull the cars out so you can see them. Um, this is a matchbox carry case. Um, this is probably going to be, I want to say, $10 to ship. Um, we had, and we're starting it out at $20, guys. So... All different assortment years of Matchbox and Hot Wheels. Here is a 80s Hot Wheel. With, let's call it it's a High Raker. That's here. Um, here is the gold one. Could have been either Red Line or Black Wall. You're in pretty good shape, some of these cars, guys. So... Captain America, newer newer vehicle, um, original Matchbox cab from the seventies, Camaro, another Matchbox, Greater. This is a uh, Zombot, an older Hot Wheel. And we have some uh, original Matchbox. In here. So if anybody's interested of this here, of inside all these cars, Rocky Mountain Flipper. You're looking, you're looking at thirty, thirty dollars plus the case. I want to say the case go for another fifteen. So you're looking at fifty bucks. 
And I'm looking at $25 with $10 shipping, guys. So, all these cars. I know this car's been going for like $8 to $10 itself. Uh, Zombot, he doesn't have his gun, but that's a $5 car. Um, Double Demon, like $5 car. What year is the case? The case is 19... 1980-81. Case is from 1981, guys. And the, the racks inside are worth that all day. People buy just these racks for sometimes five, seven dollars each. And they're two in really great shape. And like I said, then you got some of the other cars that are in here. Corvette Stingray, you know. Some of the older stuff. You know. If you're interested, I'm, I'm doing it at $25. Um, I'll take an I'll take an offer at twenty with ten dollars shipping, guys. Uh, this is great. This this is in good shape. To have the handle like that. Twenty five plus ten shipping, case and all with cars. So if you're interested, guys. This is a great home. Oh, Lizanne's at twenty. Who's gonna give me twenty two? I got twenty dollars from Lizanne. Who give me twenty two? Because uh, it's my auction and I make the decision. So um, I am the auctioneer, and that's how we start it. And I do have reserves, so that's that's it. I mean, there's nothing. Else, I do it. We have our set prices, and that's how we do it. I'm not, I'm, I do not run run an auction auctioneer site where I am an actual store. This is stuff that we do. I have been doing auctioneering for about ten years, helping people out doing this stuff. And yes, it is called a reserve. Yes, thank you, Joe. Um, I am not starting stuff off at one dollar. Um, I am not. A junk auction. Um, a lot of the stuff that people do that started off at a dollar are junk auctions. So that's the rules, um, and that's how I do stuff. And so, thank you, thank you, Mama. Yeah, all auctions. I mean, you can go into a jewelry auction and they're at they're at hundred dollars. So, True Nation. Uh, I don't want to get into this. Um, this is how I do my auction. You can check every other auction, and that's it. Thank you very much, um, whoever deleted them. Um, but Lizanne, sorry about that. Thank you, bum crack picker. Um, I thank you very much. I needed that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we can start this at twenty. I got I got Lizanne at twenty dollars, ten dollars shipping on this. Um, Twenty dollars, guys. Twenty dollars going once. I've got twenty dollars going twice. Sold for twenty dollars to Lizanne. Thank you very much, Lizanne. No, uh, sorry, sorry, fishing for prospects. You missed it on it. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, Kimmy. I know. Yeah, I just took my pills, so I'm. Um. Yeah. So, um, th thank you very much, Boondock by Cells. Yes, thank you very much. That that's right. Okay, uh, Miss Rebecca, you're up. The, looks like we have the trolls out now, so we're starting to get late in the night, so I can see that. So I have to see how much this weighs quick. Oh. I forgot all about these little guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> Shipping should be $8. And it is a bundle pack. You get everything in the box. And Derek can help me explain them. 
and we'll start off the bidding at five dollars these are actual um these are actual um beach and pool and um ugh, bathroom toys from the 70s um some of these guys these a lot of these are sets they were made back in the uh in the 70s and 60s and 70s these are great pieces guys i uh, i think some of these people should just put them up on walls on the wall and it's a lot of fun having these you've got the ducks you've got um there's the piggy he's cool thank you yeah he's and we, we've got a we've got a uh, a troll that's just having yeah. a field day with five hundred. Yeah, exactly, Lisa. Um, yeah, that that piggy's cool, you know. So if you guys, these are great. Were you starting these out at five dollars? We're gonna start. We're gonna start these at five dollars, guys. So yeah, so five dollars for all of them. This is a bundle, guys. They're, they're great. You know, you put these up on a, on a little shelf. A lot of these were found when you went to carnivals. These are some of the toys that they also used to used to give you when you won. Yep, here's the rubber duckies that you used to win. Yep. So these are these are older. These are not. You know, these are great guys. If you want, isn't he the McDonald's guy? Yes, it's grimace. <laughs> Dwayne, I'm going to give you, you and Mama, I'm going to give you wrenches. Um, you guys are rock. Thank thank, thank you very much, Catherine. Yeah. Um, you, guy, you, girl, you guys deserve it. Yeah, Adam, I just got it. Thank you. Yeah. Just trying to keep everything going. So, you guys are now... Um, yeah, the, the, that's the dot. The, but for $5, guys, $5 for this whole box. So, yep. So if anybody's interested, we can start these at $5. And let's get these going. I mean, I know some of these are like $10, $15. You can't. Look at, look at, the, uh, look at the old style paint on them. How many are in there in the box? Uh, Debbie's asking. No, Gucci. Four, 14. And a 14. set of keys. And the old keys from when we were kids. Shipping on that, uh, Rebecca. $8. $8, guys, for the shipping on that. Gucci, uh, you, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Adam. I was just going to say that. Um, you... Didn't earn after yesterday. You didn't. You lost your rent. Pat said five dollars. Who's gonna give me seven? I got five. Who'll give me seven? I got five. Who'll give me seven? I got five dollars. Who'll give me seven? I got five dollars. Who'll give me seven? Five. Who'll give me seven? I like the elephant. The elephant's cool. I know he is my favorite one too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cliff. <laughs> yeah, five. I've got seven. I got five dollars from Pat D's. Who's gonna give me seven? I got five dollars for Pat T's. Who'll give me seven? Is that a cow? No. I think it's a horse. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a horse, but I don't know. <laughs> it's a funky looking horse. So I got five dollars at Pat D's. Pat D's for five dollars. I like Grimace. Grimace is cool. <laughs> and he's little. And he's in his little rubber ducky tubby. I got Deb. Deb does sales at seven. Seven. I got. There's fourteen of them, Catherine. So I got then seven. Is that the other little McDonald's character riding this duck. Well, I can't see. Oh, that's one of the, the fry guys. That's one of the fry guys on the back of that. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah. So we got five. I got seven. Who give me nine? Seven. Who give me nine? Seven. Who give me nine? I get seven dollars from Debbie Does Sales. Who give me nine? I get seven. Who give me nine? Thank you, LSP. <laughs> Did someone call for the troll? <laughs> that good. So we get seven dollars from Debbie Does Sales. Seven who give me nine. Seven who give me nine. Seven dollars who give me nine. 
I got seven dollars from WWE sales going once. I got seven dollars going twice. And we are sold to Debbie Does Sales for seven dollars. Thank you, Debbie. Great job there, guys, on that one. And they squeak. Uh, <laughs> I needed to hear that right now. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, let's see what we got here. Yeah. So got a lot of stuff in here. Here we have the original Fisher Price Farm. Nope. We got the oh yep. Yeah. We got the Fisher Price Farm guys with the doors and it has all the some accessories. Um this is probably gonna be like eight dollars to ship. Uh, and we're gonna sell this for ten dollars. Ten dollars, guys, for this. This is the barn. This is a classic. This is the original. A little bit of damage, but not bad. Still has a lot of the stuff that's available. Still makes the cow noise. It's got some the fencing. It's got some cars. And it has the original farmer. So, all right, guys, starting this at $10, guys. So, $10 for the Fisher Price Play Farm, guys. Who's going to give me $10 for this? I got, who's going to give me 10, guys? Start this off at 10. Who's going to give me 10? Anybody's interested? Who's going to give me 10? Who's going to give me 10? Yep, this is a blast from their past. Yep. If anybody's interested, who's going to give me 10? Not. Nah, I'm going to pass on it, guys. So. All right, I'm going to pass on that, guys. Um. I'm going to put up two more things and uh, boodly boodly oops, <laughs> whatever she, however she says it. So, um, we got a couple of more things. So, Rebecca, how many more things you got? We're starting to uh, dwindle down here, it looks like. Uh, we got 30 people watching. Um, I want to put up some more stuff, but if they're not bidding, I don't want to be. Um, if just, a, just a little. Um, is anybody? I still have some. I still have about ten more things to put up, up, guys. If you guys are interested in more stuff, I have a ton of uh, vintage stuff that we can put up. If you guys are interested, we can keep on going. I know Rebecca has stuff up. Um, we are getting to two and a half hours now, um, but um, just let let us know if you guys one if you want to keep on going. Two, if you want to see some stuff. Um, I told you, uh, Oregon Coast, uh, we have – it's all toys today. That's what we're doing. It's all toys. This is a vintage toy auction. Um, we will have – what do we have? Um, more Fisher Price stuff. Um, Light Bright. Um, a Mickey and Donald lunchbox. Um so, and I know, um, yeah, no, it's kind of hard because um, I'm on a uh, laptop, Rusted Raccoon, so I can just put them up in the air, and um, I know we're back to that same thing. Um, she has stuff that she wants to put up, but um, the, last, the last Star Wars thing I put up, um, the rest of the other stuff is more... Bishop Price, and um, I have uh, Light Bright stuff. So, <laughs> um, what do you have left, Miss Rebecca? Do you have 
Like, what do you have? Because people are asking. Um, well, I have the the semis that didn't sell, the mm -hmm. ring and bajigs that didn't sell, that little horse with the little red thing that it pulls. Yep. Um, the Avon puppet. So you pretty much have everything that we've already gone through. It's just. Yeah, and I'm kind of running around trying to find more, so you don't have to quit, but I'm running out of things to grab. Well, I have stuff behind me, but I have people that, looking for smalls, and... And the train stuff isn't selling, so... Yep, I mean... Yeah, a lot of the stuff I have here is little people stuff. I mean, Biggie Toys, yes, we have a ton of stuff available. It's just um, we're not getting bids on the stuff, and that's what we're trying to, to ponder. Um, I do have an actual light bright that's in the box. That we have we have all the uh, we have all the original light bright with the uh, with the stuff inside. With and the, double. <laughs> I trip actual two in a box, and I have a loop one. Um, Pat, I got a ton of little people stuff if he's interested in it. Um, and I got all the uh, the inserts for the light bright. So, yeah, this is uh, some really cool stuff, guys. Um, I got a ton of little little people stuff if you're interested, so I can put that stuff up if you're interested. I have this uh I got this little play thing from Fisher Price. How much for the little people? Um I have ten dollars on the farm. Plus the shipping. Um, for this one, I have um, I have all those um, figures. Oh, I have an actual trailer, an old metal trailer that I have for sale. Um. A Fisher Price music box. Weebles. I got the big Weebles. And the piece I was hitting underneath. This piece, guys, if anybody is interested, Snoopy. This is Bell. And I have the house. This is made by Knickerbocker. If anybody is interested in this, I can show you guys this. This is actually actual Bell, Snoopy's little sidekick. Bella's girlfriend or something like that, right? And then we have the the house that she lives in with all the clothes. That she can wit wear. So, if anybody is interested in this, please let us know. So, if not, guys, we're gonna pretty much end it off for the night and move on and see what we can do for the next show. Um, This is in great shape. Yes, it is. I'm asking fifty dollars with uh, twelve dollars shipping. If you're interested, blue box. What this thing? <laughs> so, but this.
This is uh, Bell's house with the uh, with Bell. Fifty dollars with uh, twelve dollars shipping. If not, we're gonna just pass on it and we move on, and we'll end we'll end it here and we'll see what's going on, guys. But. Did Kimmy want to reshow what she's got left for all the new people that came in? Is Kimmy, you still here? If not, Kimmy? I think, I don't know if she left or not. She's in the chat. Oh, you're in the chat. Do you want to come back on or are you all set, Kimmy? Because we can, we can just end it here. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Bella Snoopy's sister. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, looks like we're going to be fin finishing up. I'm going to clean up a little bit here. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, all right, guys. We want to thank you all for coming. Um, we're going to let everybody know. Uh, we'll send out the invoices tomorrow or um, Wednesday. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming. We had a great time. And uh, we're going to be able to um, see what's going on next week. Next week we'll be having, um, it'll be Rebecca, myself, and um, Don uh, Donatella Portolini. Um, she will be with us next week. She'll be showing a lot of her stuff that she gets out of storage auctions. And then the week after that, we'll be doing, um, I know we have a couple other people in, uh, in line. So I want to thank everybody for coming. Don't forget, uh, now that I'm at 777, uh, Wednesday, uh, we are doing a live and we'll be able to get you, um, cars. And uh, like I said, I'm at I'm at 780 something now. Um, I want to thank everybody for coming. Rebecca, do you have anything to say? Thank you for spending our auction with us, and thank you for everybody that bid. And have a good evening. All right, all right, guys. Um, yeah, I'm at 788. Thank you very much, Rusty Raccoon. Um, we'll have a good night, and we'll see you guys on Wednesday. Remember, NASCAR Man 3345, more toys, more fun. Bye. We'll see you guys again. Bye.